Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming an updated hair care routine for like the fall and winter, what I do. Um, I use very little products, but I like to switch them up. So yeah, let's get right into it. Oh yeah, and you should check out my ebook on hair. I go into depth on how to grow it out, care for it, and maintain it. And yeah. I'll have that linked down below, so go check that out. So let's get right into the video. So I wash my hair once a week, and now that I'm working part time um, and I have to wear a hat, I don't really need to wash it that much, and I can get away with not doing anything to it because I have to put it in a ponytail so yeah so um every Sunday which today is Sunday um or like every other weekend depending on work schedule I will do an oil mask before I wash my hair I will do that the night before and then wash it out the next morning or night um, so in my scalp, I put, um, almond oil in because it helps to prevent hair loss and it's a lot thinner than coconut oil, so I like to put that up here. Um, yeah. So I'll just put that in my scalp and go on with my day. Um, like in the ends of my hair, which I actually have in right now, <laughs> um, I have coconut oil. If you're going to use it in your hair, make sure it's cold pressed, virgin coconut oil. Because you don't want all those chemicals in your hair, just like in your body. You want to nourish your hair. What you put in it will is what you're going to get out of it, so... Um, this is just the Carrington, Carrington Farms cold, cold pressed, unrefined, extra virgin, 100% coconut oil. And you can tell if it's like, smells good. Um, you can tell if it's cold pressed and unrefined because you'll get little chunks of coconut meat in it, which is good for your hair. Um, coconut oil has a lot of protein in it and it prevents breakage split ends um yeah and it helps the flow up in your scalp so if you take some massage it in your scalp that'll promote hair growth so in the shower um i will sh put shampoo all over my hair but if i have the oil in it i will do that before i get in the shower um and if you want me to do a video on that with me showing you what i do Comment down below or leave a like, and I will film that. So, yeah, so for shampoo, like, every uh, every other week, I will use this. This is the Shimmer Lights. I got the biggest bottle because I don't want to have to keep purchasing purple shampoo. And I do have blonde in my hair. If you can't tell, it starts from about here and goes down. Um, it's balayage highlights. I color my hair, do everything, cut color myself. Um, so yeah, I also use this as a toner. Like, I will take a ton of it and slap, 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 oh, I just took my hair down. But <laughs> slather it all throughout my hair and it'll tone it. So yeah, I use this every other week. Um... And then for shampoo, well, this week, I guess, yeah, I'm going to be using this, the Organics Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. This, for the most part, is sulfate-free, because I refuse to put sulfate in my hair, or, like, anything unnatural, tested on animals, like, not doing that. Um, I'm still using up the rest of my makeup, so I can get natural mineral makeup which I'll do 
a video on that. Um, so yeah, I like to use the less chemicals on my hair. Less chemicals, the better. Um, so yeah, I like this. Then after I get out, I tie my hair up in a cotton t-shirt. That helps prevent frizz and breakage. If you're using a towel, don't do that anymore because <laughs> that'll snap your hair. Um, yeah, since I've stopped using towels, I have noticed a huge difference in my hair. Um, it's a lot thicker, it's more manageable, and it grows faster, but my hair grows an inch a month. <laughs> Um, so I put that in a cotton t-shirt and then keep that, wash my face, um, brush my teeth, then take my hair out and spray this in it. It's the Healthy Sexy Hair Soy Tri Wheat Leave-In Conditioner. Um, it's also a detangling spray. My hair gets really tangly because it's very fine, um, so, yeah, it's really soft, so it'll get tangly very easily and this helps a lot so if you have long tangly hair get a detangling spray you will thank that detangler for doing what it does <laughs> um and then for brushes and combs i just use this conair comb i've had it since like the sixth grade so for like six seven years now um it's better to use a comb in your hair when it's wet. I comb it when it's like 70-80% dry because I don't want my hair to break off. If it if your hair is soaking wet and you go into it with a brush, your hair will break and fall out. So yeah, make sure you're using a wet brush or a comb or a bamboo bamboo whoa <laughs> hairbrush. So yeah, um, which I also have right here. This is a bamboo hairbrush. I got it on Amazon. If I can find a link, I will also put that down below so you can purchase it. Um, I got this actually exactly a year ago. So yeah, it's messed up. So I'm going to be buying a new one. Um, and what I do get, I will link down below. Um, yeah, once I started using a bamboo hairbrush... Texture of my hair completely changed. It doesn't tug, doesn't snag, it doesn't rip your hair out. It just glides through very easily. So yeah. And yeah, that is my fall to winter hair care routine. So, thanks for watching. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. Follow me for daily inspiration and positivity and yeah um make sure to subscribe hit that thumbs up button and yeah thanks for watching have a nice day or evening or night or whatever you want bye